CRC is a present in Aleppo since July 2013. Uh, currently, we have uh, six international staff and 35 national staff working for ICRC in Aleppo. The humanitarian situation is very dramatic in the area where we had the direct confrontation between the governmental troops and the true armed opposition groups. And there are many areas in the town, many neighborhoods in the town that are completely devastated. The many people are left without uh, access to basic commodities like food, water, electricity, medical health care. There is a lack of drugs. Many hospitals and medical centers are not operating in a way it should be. On top of it, I mean, the whole town has a problem with water supply and electricity. The month of July was extremely hot, so here temperature can reach even 40, 42 to 43 degrees. In the close collaboration with the Syrian Red Crescent Society branch in Aleppo and with the water board authorities in Aleppo, uh, we rehabilitated uh, 56 boreholes. These boreholes can produce good quality water. In different places in the town, we install the water tanks, additional water tanks, to store the water. Uh, in the last two weeks, we brought around four million of drinkable water to these reservoirs. Now, the problem was how to inform people where to go. On the uh, ICRC Syria official Facebook page, we published the map that gives basically locations of these water points. and. Uh, at the same time, people would know where to go and get the water. At the same time, there will be possibility for them to give us feedback on the quality of our interventions. If distribution of water was sufficient, if the water quality is good, we get direct feedback from the people who receive this water. Many people really in Aleppo, they're using quite a lot of social media and the response is very good. So we get some negative feedback as well, as well about different technical things. So our uh, water and sanitation team will look on these comments and will try to improve our assistance in the future based on comments we get from the community. We'll do the best to, to continue providing water to the people who need in Aleppo, especially in this hot, hot period. Many people cannot afford to buy basic food commodity and basically to survive on a daily basis. That's why the initiative was to, for these poor people, for people who are really vulnerable, to provide at least decent food meal per day. The ICRC and the Syrian uh, Arab Red Christian Society in, in Aleppo, they're trying to support um, different projects. Uh, one of them is a bread project so far. We are doing uh, through through local bakeries uh, 8,600 bread packs on a daily basis. But the second one is basically uh, support to given to collective kitchens. It's a local initiative. This kitchen provides roughly between 2,000 to, to 20,000 uh, cooked meal per day. The ready-made food allows people who has no access to fuel, to cooking, utensils, people who now have accommodation, proper accommodation, to have access to at least one cooked meal per day.